Welcome back to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hi guys, this is Kaysa and I'm back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing another spiral wrap bracelet. As you can see, I've already cut the memory wire and this is about four and a half loops and I've also started beading. Now, these are from my leftover collection of beads that I have and I have plenty. So I am gonna be coming on here demonstrating to you how I use all of my leftover beads until guess what I have none and there are different combination of colors textures and sizes and it's just to you know bring out the inner creativity within myself and to continue to encourage myself to work with what I have and yes I did buy some shiny new beads and I probably will implement some of those new beads with the old beads as well all right now as you can see I'm going ahead and I am just beading no particular pattern in mind just simply beading this is going to be a beautiful bracelet I can tell because I love the colors that I'm working with Okay, and so I'm going to do as much as I can to keep it in frame as much as possible. There we are. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for the returning subscribers. You guys have left some of the most best compliments funny things and I appreciate it all. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your personality and your views. I think it's um, just wonderful when you can come onto a channel and you can just act like you're part of the community already. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so I am just taking all these beads and I am just beading them on this wire okay now i did cut four and a half but it doesn't mean that i'm going to use all four normally i cut about five to six loops and i just start beating but i'm just doing this because i'm doing a tutorial and i want to try to keep it as short as possible if i can all right so we're gonna start beading, adding these other beads. Now the beads that I'm using, um, these are the Howlet beads by Crackle Song. Okay. And these, I don't remember where I got them from, honestly. I'm thinking it could have been Joann's or it could have been Michael's, I'm not sure. Don't quote me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add more of these beads and I'm just gonna keep beading and we're gonna see where this train leads us, okay? The purpose of doing all these videos is to familiarize myself and you with working with different patterns and different beads and different colors and not being afraid to explore and combine them together. That is really the purpose of all the videos. So I feel like I'm actually training myself to be able to work with any color and don't be afraid to work with the color just because it's not something that I am you know accustomed to working with you can always make something beautiful out of anything that you have now i've already um said today happy memorial day but i'm going to go ahead and say it again happy memorial day and thank you again for the service um and this is for the men and women who serve our country thank you so much for your contributions, all right? Now today, I um, actually did celebrate a little bit. I was outside with my neighbors and we kind of had a little barbecue, which is really great. Uh, that's one thing I love about my neighborhood is that we do get together and 
love on each other and just have a good time and and uh have barbecue and i love it all right yay we're getting there i'm gonna keep rolling around now guys this does take a little bit of time It takes time to, to to get all these bees on this wire. Trust and believe that. It doesn't just magically go on. It's done, presto. Yeah, no, that's not how it, <laughs> I wish that was how it worked, but it does not. So it takes a little bit of time. And the more uh, detailed you're trying to be with the bracelet, the more time it does take. It can take anywhere from, from 10 to 20 minutes. I was up late last night beating and when I looked up it was four something in the morning and I said to myself what are you doing up this late I normally don't stay up past two but for some reason I just had to get that necklace done I was working on If there's something in particular that you guys would like to see me do, let me know. If you're interested in um, learning something and I'm not teaching it at the moment or I'm not showing you, um, let me know. Now guys, I mentioned in a prior video and I was talking about how do you take care of your hands? Do you experience cramping in your hands or any of those things in your hands while you're making jewelry? And if you do, you need to get hand massages. It's very important that we take care of our hands. All right. Oh, we're getting there. Yay. Now, um, the memory wire, you can also use it to make earrings. Okay? Just to let you know, in case you are thinking, oh, you can only make bracelets with these. No, you can make earrings with them as well. Okay. We're getting there. And I'm just going to keep building it out, guys. And if I sound a little bit dry, I am a little bit tired, but I wanted to get another video out. I like the way that's coming along. As you can see it it's really really beautiful now this is um, a great um, item to wear especially if you like the stackable look and I know I talk about the stackable look all the time uh, many people do wear multiple bracelets stretch strand bracelets and there's nothing wrong with that I think it's absolutely beautiful when people wear them especially if they wear them and they have these different uh, colors I love it and when they have the variety of colors, it just makes the whole ensemble of the stackable wear, it just takes it to another level for me. So, but there are people that don't want to do all that. They don't want to put on all those different pieces. They like to have, you know, one single piece. And the stackable bracelet solves that problem. It solves that problem for those who 
might want the stackable look, but they don't want all the stack jewelry. They don't want all the excess. And I'm just grabbing a couple more beads, guys. Okay. All right. And so this is the perfect solution for them, as I said before. Um, and it's just one piece, you know? And what I like about this, this reminds me of a bohemian style. Really, really pretty. Reminds me of the beach, sort of. And which I really, really love. Now we are almost finished with this bracelet. We don't have that much to go. And sometimes guys, it is hard to find the holes on these things. Sometimes they're on top, sometimes they're on the side. I'm like, make up your mind. And normally, I would not use this particular one because I don't like the hole on it, but it's okay. I think it'll, it'll be okay this time. Okay. So we're going to add a few more on. This, uh, this bracelet is really pretty, I must say. I like the color combination. I really like that. Although I'm partial to blue anyway. Blue is like one of my favorite colors. It really is. It's a specific type of blue that is. That's one of my favorite colors. All right, so we're just going to add a couple of more. And I mentioned in the other video when I was doing a spiral wrap bracelet, um, I start off with the little beads at the bottom and then I kind of uh, bring the bigger beads up top. And I do that for several reasons. One, it brings balance to the necklace and the, uh, excuse me, to the bracelet, it brings balance. And it's just a better look. It's more, it seems to me like it's more stable if I do it that way. Uh, rather than put all the heavy ones on the bottom. Now, you can do that if you want to do that. I mean, that's really up to you. Uh, it, de it depends on the type of look you're going for. But to me, this makes it look a, more, a little bit more chunky at the same time. But then at the same time, it doesn't, it's not too big. You know what I mean? If that even makes sense. All right. So we're going to go ahead and finish this out. And I don't have that far to go. Alrighty. There we are. And this is a perfect way uh, to use up those remaining beads like these are the last of the beads I have for this particular one At least I'm hoping that's the case <laughs> I might go in into another bag and find out I have some over there in another bag But as of right now, this is the last batch of beads for um, this particular bead now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just finish this off. I only have like about, mm, I'm going to say two loops to go. It's not that far though. Be done with that in a matter of a few minutes. And so I end them with the little beads because again, I like to bring that symmetry into it. I like to bring that balance and the sturdiness to it. And I just feel like this to me, in my opinion, is just the way to bring that about. And I just think it's really, really pretty. See, these are the type of colors that people are looking for. They're looking for that eye-catching color. And um, I love working with these type of colors. 
and these are glass beads right here and um, these particular beads do come from Hobby Lobby uh, the first batch I got I did buy from Walmart I believe but this batch was purchased from Hobby Lobby okay all right we're gonna grab some more of these beads guys and then the video will be coming to a close hopefully you got some really good color scheme ideas that is what I'm hoping anyway and then you can also see I um, combine different textures of beads and everything but it, it goes really really well I think that goes really really well I'm really impressed um, how well that goes together um, you know And I'm just grabbing some more beads, guys. Because I didn't put a whole bunch out, which I should have, but that's okay. We're having a good time over here, and we're learning. Um, listen, learn how to crush it however you do it. Now, I'm going to do this because <laughs> that bead is there. I'm going to use it. I think it's so fun when you can take random beads and combine them together and get a unique look. And that's actually cute. Listen, that's on fire right there. Okay. <laughs> At least in my mind it is. It is on fire. All right, we have just this little loop right here. Now, I can either cut it off right here or I can just add a couple of more on. And I think I'm just going to add a couple of more on just because I like that full look. Yes, I do. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in right now. I'm going to stop and just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see um, the bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Somebody is going to like this one. And that somebody might be me. I don't know. You know, the best way to advertise your product is to wear it. Ladies, are you wearing your own product? Or gentlemen, I don't want to, you know, discriminate. Gentlemen, are you wearing your product? You know, if you are making jewelry and you are not wearing your own product, okay, shame on you. You need to wear your own product. You're a walking advertisement. Know that. Because someone is always going to ask you, well, where did you get that from? I made it. That is the best way to get business. And people are so fascinated. Oh, well, how did you make that? And, and how did you learn how to do that? And they're always asking these different questions. And that way you can promote yourself. Okay, so basically, guys, I am finished with this, um, this bracelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a little piece. Always cover the wire. Please, ladies and gentlemen, cover the wire because you don't want it to be smacked in your eyes. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And so now I'm just going to do that loop. Now, I know somebody mentioned to me about um, they use a, a bead looper because they didn't know how to loop it. The looping is so easy. But if you want to use that uh, bead looper, there's nothing wrong with that either. I just prefer to make my own loops. All right, look at how gorgeous this is. Now, I am going to take it and wrap it around my arm because this is how you do it. You wrap it around your arm. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. And this is how you do it. 
you rap it. And so what I love about the rap also is that you do not have to put it over your your uh over your ankles, over your knuckles or your fingers or any of that. You simply just take it and wrap it and it goes around your wrist. There's no contact with your hands, there's no contact with your fingers except to put it on. And so you just simply wrap it off, wrap it off, and then the same way you put it on, you wrap it on, and there you are. You have this beautiful, beautiful stackable bracelet. I love this. I honestly do. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope that you got some inspiring color schemes from just watching me add this together. All right, until the next video, I will see you soon. And of course, I will take a picture of the bracelet so that you can see. See you soon.